This tutorial is to teach you a little bit about Microsoft Office 365 Word Online. Basically, um, Word Online allows you to work on documents that are saved on the cloud, which means that as you're working, your work is constantly being saved for you. And it's being saved on a cloud-based service, which means that you can access it from anywhere at any time. So no longer at, when you're working on Word Online are documents saved to your computer, or to your Dropbox or other service like that, now they're saved to the cloud. Um, so to access Microsoft Word Online, you would have logged in to um, the portal, which you can get the link through the WCPS website. Or you can search Office 365 login at on Google and um, log in that way. Now, for most of you, this is what your um, so your page will look like when you log in. But if you have changed the path of your login page and now it goes to email or something different, all you have to do is click the grid in the top left corner and then choose Word. Now, whenever I open up Microsoft Word online, it's going to show all of the most recent documents that I've worked on. I'm going to open this one called Friday 325 that I just created this morning. Um, however, if I wanted to start a new document, I could get a blank one here or choose from an, any number of templates as well. So once I open this document, I'm going to be live editing it. That means that any changes that I make to this are going to be saved right here online. Now, in order to do that, I simply click Edit Document. If I wanted to download the document and work on it on my computer, I could very easily do that. That would give me access to a few more tools, but I just have to remember then that I need to save it back to my OneDrive or back send it back to someone. It's not automatically saved when you're working on it online. So I'm going to go down and edit in Word Online. And again, this is where any changes that I make here would show live. So, um, so you can see here where it says saved. This is a sample and you can see now that it's saving. So as I make the changes, it's saving for me. All saved online, easily accessible via the cloud. I can highlight it, I can make changes as far as um, text color underlining, all of those things. I can copy and paste. I can insert um, pictures and links and images and comments and headers and footers, page numbers, all of the things that you can insert through the um, client version on your computer. You can do on the online version as well. You can change your page layout and all of those types of things also. Um, whoops. Now, the thing that really sets this apart, aside from the fact that it's saved for you and constantly updated, is the fact that you can share it with people. So if you go to share, this is much like Google Docs for those of you that are familiar with sharing things there. You can determine whether someone can edit the document or whether they can just view. You can also get the link and just email the link to someone and they could edit it and they could access and edit it that way. So to invite someone, you just want to type in their five and three. And as you start to type it in, that person should come up because again, this is linked to our WCPS directory. So I could put um, whoever it is that I'm trying to save within. Now, um, the interesting thing too is that students have access to this. So you can see there's Stephanie, but then um, Rachel and Melanie, Melanie as well. So if I wanted to share it with Rachel, who's a student in my class, and have her access it, I could share it with her this way. Okay, um, you by checking this box are requiring that someone sign in in order to access um, and edit the document. So that's up to you. And then you would click share and it would share with that person. Now I have this document up on one of my other computers just to kind of show you what it looks like whenever someone else is in there. So um, now that I'm in, it says Erica Hartley is editing this document and you see this here. So I'm not going to type anything from this screen, but on my other computer, I am going to, I am typing from a different computer. So you can see that I'm doing that here on a different computer and it's showing up live. Now I can come back here and make my changes. This is on my Mac. And all those changes are showing up on my other computer. So this is how it would work if you are working collaboratively with someone else. They would be able to make edits and changes to your document, to the document as you are working on it as well. Um, so 
if I wanted to open something else, I can just go to File. This looks very much like um, what you use on your computer. If you click Save As, you can do multiple things. You can save the online copy, which it's already kind of done for you. You can rename it. You can download a copy. If you download a copy to your computer, then that document is now saved on your computer. So it's no longer, actually it's saved on the cloud and it's saved on your computer because you've downloaded a copy of it. Remember that changes that you make on your computer are not um, saved live and they're also not able, you're not able to collaborate with other people. The cloud-based service is what allows you to be able to work interactively and collaboratively with other people on a document at the same time. And then you can download it in different file formats as well. You can start a new one, you can share this one, this is another way. This is another way to share this document. Um, you can get the embed code, which means that you can then save it to a site or a blog or send it in an email and people can access it that way. So that's a little bit about Microsoft Word Online. I realize that I didn't go into a lot of detail about the editing and that part of it, but that's because it's very similar to what you're used to used to doing whenever you're working with Microsoft Office, um, Microsoft Word on your computer. Again, differences, this is being live saved and it's collaborative. Up next, Microsoft Excel Online.